fun one. I got a lot done today. This is my new ESP32 breakout board. Well, a printout of it. And uh, this is my tip for this video. Print your PCB designs out, just the copper layer. You just hit print in KiCad and it'll come out on your printer and you can chest fit everything and make sure it all fits before you send it off to fab. Uh, I wish I would have been doing this and made this a habit years ago. Um, I have had multiple sets of boards that were uh, not ideal and I had to get creative with them because I'd skip this step. But uh, tip of the day. Still gotta get going on this maybe tonight. Uh, hopefully tonight. And video on that goes live this week I hope and video on that. I am still editing and having a lot of fun. This Probe Master is just awesome. This is my new breakout board for hardware hacking that I've shown here a couple of times. And man, oh man, it's getting all kinds of use. And this little board has taught me that I drastically underestimated CircuitPython. Oh, I need to use it more here on the channel. Today's sponsor, PCBWay.com, makes all these projects possible and provides me with the printed circuit boards I need to show off these projects and give them away open source for you guys. Check them out. Check out their contests and their giveaways, too. Okay, here we are with the CNC. Man, I've learned one thing with this project already. I suck at T-slot nuts. This, I, I have no idea how I managed to suck so bad at putting this together, but I think it just wouldn't align and kept falling. The T the T nuts keep falling out on me. I finally got it. We're getting there now. So everything, these are tightened up, but I think I might square it a little bit better, but I'll, I'll wait until I get it all together and then I can square it as a machine instead of just squaring the bed here. Um, make sure everything floats square and even, but, uh, yeah, we're getting there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty simple machine, not much to it, but I just really suck at assembling these things. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, pretty happy with this. Hope you guys, uh, hope you enjoy these behind the scenes. Let me know down below if you do. Um, this is the rest of the aluminum for it and the kit. Um, hopefully I can maybe even use some of this as B-roll when I go to do the final video on this thing, but, uh, pretty happy with it. It's just um, a pretty simple controller. Check this out. These things just run an Arduino Nano um, on some. This this is actually an all-in-one board by the looks of it. It isn't what I expected. There's our separate drivers and then there's our control, which is probably just a, a Mega 328, I would imagine. But um, this is an all-in-one solution. So it's like a step up from what I thought it was, actually. I should have looked at this thing sooner. Anyway, it, do, it really doesn't matter. Um, they're all pretty much kind of similar. And yeah, there's all my salsa and stuff that I made. <laughs> Lots of salsa this fall. Holy smokes. Fun. off the press. This, uh, with it being winter coming here in Kanakistan, I uh, decided to start making some parts for the reef tank. This is for my BioCube uh, coral reef tank um, that uh, it holds frag plugs for fragments of coral and sticks to the side with uh, suction cups. Well, uh, I'll just show you that. And I know we're running pretty low on these. So we'll print some new cases for the Roomba kits. Not sure whether I showed the reef tank on the main videos in the last few years, but I definitely did to my Patreon video, I think, not that long ago. But um, these little suction cups are from Dollar Store, and I just took a piece of this uh, TPU filament and then put it through and then just used the soldering iron to, uh, to do the ends kind of... Uh, to whip the ends, so to speak, like a rope. And then the 
this little suction cup to the inside of the aquarium and then uh, all my little frag plugs will go in here so I can frag some coral which is the process of chopping up corals and um, putting them on frag plugs so that you can put them elsewhere in the tank and let them grow and you can manipulate this how much light they get by moving it up and down the tank which is pretty cool printed out of PLA and just like that that's how those little racks go in the tank and they just stick to the side uh, actually I got that one and that one upside down but uh, I just put these corals in that's a pulsing zinnia that's pretty floppy it'll inflate and then a couple of green star polyps that are already starting to extend but yeah that works just wonderful pretty happy with that got a little bit of work to do on the tank still putting this 3018 CNC together awfully slow we oh, yeah. dentist Dentist visit yesterday, more supplies for cleaning electronics. They go in the drawer handy. Got an alert on my phone that someone placed an order for a Roomba kit. So we'll package that up. I like doing this on Sundays. It always seems that the orders come in on Sundays too, which is super, super cool. And there is a Roomba virtual wall kit ready to go. And I'll have to check my website. It looks like I got three left. So uh, we'll print out more of those cases. So we have them. And then I just ship these out in these bubble mailers. We'll do the, the kit. And then if you're interested in seeing how I do these, the postage on this, I can do a video. But uh, um, these are actually free from Canada Post. We'll give them some candy. And I think we should give them some stickers too. Let's see. We'll do we'll do kind of a little assortment, but check this out. PCB Way was so kind enough to give me some PCB rulers, so we'll give them a nice little PCB ruler too. Nice little bonus for placing an order. And yeah, that'll be that. And uh, then I'll head out and get some work done outside. I think out to the garage trying to clean things up and we have a big crate arrive check this out a little sneak peek in here is my very first metalworking lathe um you'll just have to stay tuned for the video i think i'll split the video into two like i did with the k40 i'll do um a shorter version on the main channel and then the full length i think i'll put on the make me a doris channel what do you guys think should Metalworking with lathes, where should it live? Should it live on the lab channel on Make Me Lab or or elsewhere? I, I'm kind of torn. Like it is a fabrication instrument, so I don't know. It's going to be fun. Uh, it gives me another level of tools. The CNC is going to live here once it's finally built, uh, right where that 3D printer is living. Got a laser cutter, and then I will have uh, the metalworking lathe, which I don't know where it's going to live. What a mess. This place is just a wreck. But I'm finally building this out. You guys uh, have been around a long time. Well, this is, was my, my workshop that I wanted to build. Um, I wanted to have all the kind of equipment out here and things, all my previous life, my mechanics tools and everything. Well, it's all here. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Even though it's a mess and it's small, um, I'm, I'm super happy. I, I can build what I want to build here. So it's pretty cool. But uh, can't wait to get this out of the box.